welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a face mask. It's going to be a honey and charcoal face mask. Um, it's just going to be two simple ingredients. I love using honey for face masks. It's super beneficial. Um, there's a whole bunch of varieties that you can make face masks. Honey with lemon, with oat milk, uh, with uh, sugar for scrubs. Um, I make my own body scrub and face scrub with honey. I just put honey, sugar, and a couple other oils. But today I'm going to be doing a honey and charcoal face mask to detox and hydrate my skin. Now honey, like I said, honey is really, really great for the skin and honey was uh, used, uh, it was one of the favorite ingredient beauty, uh, beauty hacks or beauty ingredients that Cleopatra used to use. She was a big fan of honey and she used to use it on her beauty rituals uh, every day for her beauty care. So yes, honey is amazing. So, uh, let's make this face mask. So, here's my little tray, the honey. And you don't need a lot. You know, you only need a little bit. And... And you just mix it in with your finger or you could use, you know whatever you have available, a spoon, or I just like to use my finger. And I think it's pretty, it's a lot. Now, when you use honey, you could use honey by itself for a face mask to moisturize your skin. Uh, especially right now that it's winter and your skin tends to dry. It is so, you know, uh, it leaves your skin really smooth. And I just love using honey. I think this is a bit too much because now once you put honey on your face, you know, uh, you don't have to use a lot because, like I said, the heat of your face is going to make it, you know, kind of melty. And you do have to be careful because it could, you know, uh, drip on your face if you use too much. Um... Uh, so yes, you could add other oils, uh, vitamin E. Uh, I'm just going to leave it like that by itself and just put it on. Sometimes I add, you know, um, vitamin E or coconut oil, almond oil. Uh, but I'm just going to do it really simple uh, for today. So it's just, just the mix and now I'm going to apply it on my face. So when I put on my face mask, I like to grab my hair or cover my hair completely with um, my hair cover to not get any mess on my hair so I'm just gonna brush it on a ponytail and put the shower cap on so this is how I like to apply my face mask I have to cover all uh, my hair so you know it won't get in the way because it's honey and it does get sticky now you can use a brush, but it's honey, and it's pretty sticky, and, like, it doesn't even out. Or, I mean, there are, like, uh, brushes that are, like, silicone at the end, so you could apply them. But, you know, I just find it easier to just use my finger. Uh, you don't have to do anything fancy, you know, or... And there are um, a lot of uh, charcoal face masks that you can buy. Uh, but you could always, like I said, make your own at home with just honey and charcoal is pretty cheap, you know. Um, and you could use charcoal for so many different things to whiten your teeth, clean your teeth. And, you know, you could do um, a whole bunch of face masks, not just using honey. Uh, you could use other stuff, you know, if you just search. There's a lot of recipes to make at home. Uh, with charcoal and like I said with honey honey is one of my favorite ingredients as well for beauty products like I said it was highly it was uh, uh, a beauty product or uh, something that Cleopatra used to use in her beauty rituals even for her perfumes uh, she would use honey so it was a big favorite of Cleopatra and for good reason you know honey is really 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 great for your skin and when you do, I love the shout, the uh, the face scrubs or the body scrubs made out of honey and sugar, because when you do 
especially like the, the oatmeal the oatmeal and honey face mask leave your skin super super soft like your face uh it kind of and uh, now the oats you do i do blend them on the blender to get them uh finer you know and then i put in the honey and it kind of exfoliates your skin a little bit and it leaves your skin super smooth and once you take off the mask, like, it's hydrated and smooth. I just, I love honey. And I love the honey, you know, facial scrubs. Like I said, hi, uh, you could use, um, you could use sugar for your body. And you can use the oatmeal for your face if you don't want uh, to use, uh, like, a scrub that's uh, too harsh on your skin. Or if you have sensitive skin and you don't use, um... Uh, you don't want to use anything to exfoliate your skin that's irritating or too harsh. You can use oatmeal and it will give you a, uh, like a scrub effect. So you just put it all over your face and leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then just wash off. Uh, and like I said, you know, I did that. You don't need a whole bunch of honey. So, uh, you just have to split it up. My kid wants to go take a dump if you guys can hear him on the back room. So, <laughs> we'll be back when this is all cleaned. Now, I forgot to mention, you do have to wear a shirt that you could, you know, are going to get stuff all over because it does tend to drip. And if you use, like, a whole bunch, like I said, with the heat of your face, it's going to tend to, like, melt a little bit. So, uh, just be cautious of that. So, now that you have taken off the mask, you just add moisturizer i use vitamin c syrup and just apply it on your face and voila that's about it and yes i am on the nude because i took a shower so yeah and your skin i mean it's already pretty smooth like i said um charcoal doesn't quite um exfoliate your face if you want to exfoliate it you could use a sugar one or oatmeal and it will exfoliate your face as well as uh, moisturized or hydrated and that's about it i hope you like it and try it for yourself and if you try it see tell me if it worked for you or what you think of it drop your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram on rachel moongarit bye